What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I think this is an important topic. It's an important topic because uh, people keep saying it's not important, but it is because I believe that people that are elevated in the, the culture battle here, people that are seen as people on our quote, our, our quote unquote side, they should be genuine people. And even though, for example, I disagree with say Matt Walsh yesterday about um, you know video games and stuff, I do believe that he actually genuinely believes the things that he says, and we can agree to disagree and go our separate ways. You know, maybe one day we'll meet in the middle, and I hope that that's the case. But there's one individual that continues to uh, ingratiate themselves with um, powerful people. In this particular case, Elon Musk, through uh, a, a um, underhanded and uh, duplicitous methodology, I can only imagine. Uh, I've talked about uh, this individual several times in the past, and everyone seems so surprised when they find out. Well, today I will reveal to you uh, the full extent of uh, exactly why I believe that Ian Miles Chong is perhaps the worst possible representative of quote unquote, our side on the culture war. Why I believe that the idea that people say, I just follow the guy on Twitter, big deal. It matters. It matters because people who just quote unquote, follow him on Twitter because he steals people's videos and posts them as his own conveniently, uh, allegedly, uh, they create this power, they create this clout, and the guy keeps getting jobs, and he keeps infiltrating our side, he keeps making connections based on all these followers. I mean, he, he, he actually managed at the peak now of his reach to be um, a, you know, a often interacted account of Elon Musk. Now, Elon Musk has stopped interacting with him as far as I'm told because Elon was told about a little of this stuff, but people often ask why it's such a big deal. So. Let me show you why Ian Miles Chung is not on your side and that you should not be supporting people who sit in a foreign country and grift off Americans' pain, America's division. Uh, you know, if you're going to do that, at least live here for the most part here. Uh, there's a reason that Ian Miles Chung doesn't talk about Malaysian politics. Maybe ask him that. Uh, this guy is a... a has had a termite-like existence, a DSP-like existence on, on the internet for many years. No matter how many times this guy gets revealed to be a fraud, it continues. He continues because, in my opinion, in large part due to his blue, unearned blue checkmark for a long time on Twitter, this guy used to be a feminist, referred to himself as a turbo feminist, was um, on the wrong side of Gamergate. Eventually, when he realized there was more money on pro gamer side, he made his uh, metamorphoses to this sort of right wing anti cancel culture guy. But he has no idea what cancel culture is actually like. He sits over in Malaysia tweeting from his parents' basement, literally. Well, in my mind, anyway. The reason I have personal beef with him is because when I had a website called Exclusively Games, it is a failed website. I crowdfunded it. I'd hoped that to provide a uh, gaming website that was free from politics. Well, I found out pretty quick uh, that there wasn't enough advertising revenue out there. And quite frankly, the model itself of subsisting off ads was dead at the time. Had I launched it as like a membership type site, I think it might've worked. But nonetheless, the project failed. We raised a decent sum of money, burned through that, and I continued to fund that site for many months after that money was gone, uh, losing somewhere around 50 grand of my own money trying to keep it afloat before it eventually got closed down. Uh, I don't have any regrets. I tried. But along the way there, Ian Miles Chong had actually convinced me that he was some sort of big deal on Twitter. And he knew the gaming space, so he became that site's editor. Okay, While he worked for me as an editor... He lied to my face and said that he needed help editing all of these articles that we were bringing in. So he hired someone called Ren, allegedly. Well, it turns out from what I've gathered, uh, this Ren individual uh, was an e-girl and trying to buy an iPhone or something like that. He was sending money to an e-girl who had no idea that she even worked for this website, okay? 
when I confronted him over it, he had a, 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 a mental breakdown, a bawling uh, breakdown on Skype from, for stealing not my money, but your money. The people had backed the project. It was $645. Uh, he would have gone right on stealing my money, stealing your money, had I not figured it out, okay? He refunded the money and then self-snitched yesterday because he was trying to grift off the Matt Walsh stuff. He self-snitched here by posting saying, well, I gave you your money back. Okay, so why were you giving me my money back, Ian? It's because you stole it. You got caught stealing it and giving it to an e-girl and you refunded it so I wouldn't expose you. But now since you've decided you want to drift off this and you want to get off this, uh, um, you know, uh, this uh, Matt Walsh drama, I'm going to talk about that. So yes, he stole money from me. That's my personal interaction with him. He stole it to give to a girl who didn't even know she worked for me, allegedly. And that money was from a nonprofit website that was donated, okay? Part two. This, again, I don't know how many times I have to prove this, is Ian Miles Chong not only admitting to swatting a YouTuber he didn't like, but also hoping that it would end his life. Listen in. Thing out saying that he's going to make a video on me. That really actually set me off. Um, I did not need to see that. I'm more than happy to just let him leave me alone. But he forced my hand, so I called the police. I actually, I actually called the police on him. Uh, I know what he does. I know he has illegal firearms. I know that he uh, is deeply entrenched in the alt-right. I know that he has a lot of cocaine in his house. Uh, yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. I even talked to them on the phone. So, who knows? Maybe they'll pay him a visit very soon. Now, some people might say, oh, that's just a snitch. Well... I think when you call local police and you say that somebody has these things, your intent is to have them have an inter intervention. And in my position is anytime you send the cops to somebody's house like this, you're attempting to end their life. And here's the second half of that message where he admits, again, this is E.M. Miles Chong. This is everybody on the right just says, it's not a big deal that I follow him. It's not a big deal that I retweet him. It's not a big deal that I uplift him he's just posting videos wrong it is a big deal because all of those people following him and signal boosting him is what got him in elon musk's ear for crying out loud okay people on our side have to police our side and everybody that throws their hands up in the air and whines about it being infighting is wrong the fact of the matter is if you don't police your own you're no better than the left you know our side for example centrists or center-right people or just moderates always talk about how the left doesn't police their own. Well, these same people will throw up their arms when you point out that there are grifters and liars among us. Sure, I grift coffee, okay? Sure, I have, you know, some uh, some videos where, you know, I was uh, drunk on a live stream. But, like, everybody's got that kind of stuff. But this is only the tip of the iceberg, my friends. This is stuff a lot of people already know about, but there's so much more. Listen to this thing out saying that he's going to make a video on me that really actually set me off um i did not need to see that i'm more than happy to just let him leave me alone but he forced my hand so I, uh yeah he's fucked he's fucked i even so who knows maybe they'll pay him a visit very soon hopefully soon the uh uh the mississauga police will be paying him a Nice little visit. I told him that I told them that he was armed and dangerous because he so everybody defending Ian Miles Chong who's saying, oh, it's inflating. Oh, he just no, he tried to get another YouTuber killed. OK, this is the guy that everyone says is harmless. Yes, he he's got guns uh, and that he's uh, prone to bouts of uh, schizophrenia and uh, bouts of violence. So he might be in for a treat. It's all true, by the way. He is prone to all these things. So, yeah, that's not just me trying to get him killed. That's actually true. They need to be careful. Uh huh. And now, if that's not enough, let's take a look at some other interesting conversations and uh, things that have come out of Ian Miles Chong's mouth. Okay. Now, this is a a tweet collage. 
that was put out. And some of these tweets, I think, are pretty, you know, they're pretty interesting to look at. Some of them, you know, I would hope are just edgy jokes, like the one about, oh, attractive babies, they bring it on themselves. I assume that's a joke. I hope it's a joke. But how about this? Talking about the age of consent. It's too high. The age of consent is 16 in most European countries. It's 18 in the U.S. for some reason. Well, why not? A good number of people are on the registry for uh, are only there because of draconian age of consent laws. Um, laws are laws. So Ian Miles Chong, I don't know what the age of consent is in, Mal in Malaysia where he lives, but again, he's talking about the United States. So he's got, he wants to hook up with 16 year olds. Is that what it is, Ian? Uh, you know, so he thinks it's okay to be fascist when the alternative is complete lawlessness and rampant violence. Again, this is, this is just a small taste. Okay. These seem very, um, questionable. Okay. These aren't jokes. Like I joke about Count, when Count Tankula had a daughter, I'm like, ha, ha, ha. And then, like, leftoids are like, ooh, what's up with this? It's like, obviously, two bros having a laugh, okay? This is not that. This is very concerning, um, you know, saying, hashtag, I need masculinism because Redditors should be allowed to perv on 12-year-olds without being called out. Now, is that a joke? Maybe. Maybe you feel like it's a joke. And again, all these things individually, you can try to, except for the swatting, maybe you say it's okay. You know, you want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Well, how about these conversations also attributed to Ian Miles Chong on uh, a particular website uh, where I literally can't read anything, he says. Um, F off, uh, Jew, why didn't the, you know, this uh, stuff and your parents, the stuff that led to World War II, um, you know, because you know, he's saying because Jews equal nothing. Uh, he wrote allegedly... I hate the Indonesians hate Chinese. I don't know. Is that true? Um, you know, they can't spell African without the N word hard R by the way. Um, they call me banana cause I'm yellow on the outside, but white on the inside. I mean, that's not really offensive. It's kind of cringe. Um, you know, uh, this is full of like N words and, and outright racism. And again, you can keep saying, oh, this is just a thing. This is just a, you know, this is just, I mean, if you read this stuff, by the way, which I tweeted out, is he being an edgy, edgy guy? I don't know. It certainly doesn't seem it. How about this? Also being attributed to Ian Miles Chong. Um, you know, I, I can't even read half of this stuff, you know, saying, um, you know, my name isn't Rex. Stop calling me that. How how gay do people have to be to make a wiki about me so they can call me a you know a slur? Come to think of it, probably not gay at all, but definitely moronic. Um, you know, I don't know. He's saying it's from IRC. Half of them, you know, I don't know. But look at some of these other subjects here in the in the wiki. It's 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 a. Uh, it's all interesting stuff. And again, deep freeze. We can talk about deep freeze. Here's Ian Miles Chong, editor in chief. The guy has worked for just about everybody, okay? Because eventually people find out he doesn't actually back the things that he says. So he gets fired. He moves on to the next place. Abuse his position as a mod of Reddit to direct traffic to his website, as well as to Global Post, which he was a paid consultant for in 2012. According to Mod Leaks, he was still doing this in 2014, despite his ban. Would later on express regret. Name dropped Zoe Quinn two times, originally without disclosing he had contributed to one of Quinn's crowdfunding. Again, Ian Miles Chong gave money to Zoe Quinn, if you remember who that is, okay? The second article came, article came out was working with Quinn's crash override network. A disclosure was added to both articles as well as other articles about Twin on Gamer Ranks, not written, to, not written by him after he was informed of the issue. He disclosed a friendly decade-long relationship over social media with Stardock's founder and CEO Brad Wardell. Said relationship was not originally disclosed in a series of articles written between those three years. Again, Chong promptly added disclosure. So again, unethical guy pumping his friend's stuff on these websites. 
profess very low consideration for ethics and journalism portrayed in the People of Gamergate series, expresses anti-Semitic sentiment in leaked logs, in a sense apologize, blaming it on toxic gaming culture. This is the guy that the right keeps popping up. This is the guy, you know, he, he published, published an article by Wesley Copeland falsely accusing a YouTuber of a terrible crime for uh, motor voting a model with her explicit consent, then complained of being harassed for it. Later, when the model called him out, the one who was supposedly the victim, he claimed that the, the crime involved a girl that was different than her. This is a guy who has, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. But this is what Ian Miles Chong doesn't want you to know. He has a long career of being a liar, a grifter, a thief, a simp, and a chameleon. He is not on your side. He is not on our side. He is the literal definition of a grifter. Hope you enjoyed this video. Buy some coffee. Coffeebrandcoffee.com. We'll talk to you again real soon.